Hi guys, it's me, the Vegan Vintage Geek, with another hair tutorial, and I'm going to do a pomade review. This is the pomade that I've been using for the past two weeks. It's by Lox Hair Wax Company. They are veterans owned, handcrafted by veterans. And this, this is their new women's line, all natural pomade for women, Vixen Valor, coconut and vanilla. For external use only, ingredients, shea butter, local beeswax, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, botanical oils, fragrance oils. It's not vegan, unfortunately, because of the be beeswax. And I'm looking and searching for a good quality vegan pomade. And I haven't found one yet that I like. There is a company that does have vegan pomade and it's Lady Luck. Lady Luck is really good. Their pomade is super waxy. And the problem with their pomade is that it, any water hits it, it actually flakes instantly. This one does not do that. That's the great thing about this one. This one doesn't. Even though it, it it's kind of like candle wax in a way. I'll show you the inside. That's how it looks. Because I've been using it for a while, as you can see, how deep it is. The only problem with this is when I'm using it is that I have to heat it up first. I don't heat it in the microwave because you cannot put metal in the microwave and I don't own a microwave anyway. So what I do is, and especially since I have fingernails, trying to dig into the wax, the pomade gets into my fingernails and I hate that because then I have to dig it out. So this pomade, when I tried to, to do it, you have to dig hard in order to, for it to come out. It doesn't. So when I heat it up, it's much easier to use. So here's my hair dryer. I'm gonna heat it up and show you how I do my hair. That should do it. It doesn't take very long to heat up. As long as it looks shiny like it does right here, then you know that you got your pomade all ready to use for the day. So here I go. Sorry, I gotta, my stuff is over here out of frame. So this is the comb that I'm gonna be using. Rat tail comb by Conair. Not sponsored. regular size bobby pins and some big sexy hairspray this is spray and stay the huge bottle I washed my hair dried it and put it up and this is how my hair looks and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna part my hair. Sorry if I step out of frame, my mirror is on the other side. So I got my side part that I normally do. All I do is use this part of the rat tail comb, which is a handy little tool that helps me make a clean side part. Comb that out. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pomade. This is how I take the pomade. I do this and I also get my thumb and then that's how it looks when I got it on my fingers. You probably can't see it, but it is on my fingers. And then I do the same thing with my other hand. I wipe it in, do my thumb, and then I rub them together. 
and then I just go into my hair. I know exactly what sections of hair I'm going to, I'm going to take to do my hairstyle. This is a pretty simple hairstyle that anybody can do with this long hair or this length of hair right here. This is up to my shoulders. Grab my comb here and then I'm gonna pull some of my hair out just like a ponytail, like I'm doing a ponytail. Comb this up, comb that to the back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it two times in the downward motion. And then I'm going to lay it right on my hair, right on my head. Take a bobby pin, teeth side down, flat side up, and then I'm going to secure it to my head. Take another bobby pin bobby pin. <laughs> Teeth side down, flat side up, and then I'm going to cross it together. I know you can't see it because my hair is so dark, but that's how it is. It's in an X formation. So one's going down, one's going up. And then for this side of my hair, so these are my bangs. That's how long my bangs are. Goes right up to my, my lip. And then same thing on the other side. I'm just going to get some pomade on my fingers like I did already. Rub them. Go into my hair. Make sure I got it in. The great thing about this pomade is that it's buildable. A little goes a long way. And the scent, I adore the scent. It's more of an, a vanilla flavor, vanilla scent. And when I opened the package, before I started using it, it reminded me of the regular Lay Rocks, the scent for the regular Lay, lay no, <laughs> Lay Right, sorry, <laughs> Lay Right, Lay Right Pomade. It smells just like Lay Right Pomade original. I'm getting a little more here. Original Lay Right Pomade, that's what it smelled like. But after use, the vanilla flavor comes, the, sorry, I keep calling it a flavor. It's vanilla scent. The vanilla scent is the one that comes out the most. The coconut, not so much, but it's really nice. It's really lightweight. And over time, you'll smell the vanilla on your hair when you use it. And the great thing about this is that I can put hairspray over it and it's not going to flake. And it's easy to wash out even though it's a beeswax. I condition my hair first and then I wash it out with soap, regular shampoo. And then it's all set for the next styling. So I'm going to do like a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a, like a ponytail, kind of like a ponytail, and this is how I'm parting it. I go from the top of my ear and then make this, so it looks like this. And then I did the same thing over here, I just went from the top of my ear and then I did that part. So for this part, this is the pump, just combing it out making sure everything's all smooth. There's no kinks in it. Sorry, I'm, I'm going out of frame. I'm, my mirror is on the other side. So here's how I do it. I twist it and then I push it to the front. And then I take a bobby pin, teeth side down, flat side up. And then I push that right into the part that I rolled. And then I take another bobby pin, flat, flat side up, 
teeth down and then put it right next to it. With this one, I don't cross it. I just put it right next to each other. That way I can secure it. And then for this, since it has that little wave in it and I don't like it, what I do is I do this. Just make sure that I get it all straight and that it looks nice. And if I'm not happy with it, I can go in and I can fix it. Be right back. No, I'm not happy with it because it's too fluffy and, and I got splits right here. I got hairs sticking up that look that you can see through and I don't like that. So I'm going to take it out. Comb it again. Make sure there's, it's nice and smooth. There's no kinks in it. <clears throat> Okay, twist and then push it to the front. That's what gives that pump. It's, that's how it pumps up the hair. And then push it in. My bobby pins. Okay, that's a lot better. No, I'm not a fan of this wave that I got here. My hair is naturally wavy, thin and wavy. So it, it has texture to it. So that's why it went that way. I got that wave in it. I'm gonna look in the mirror for this. But you get the general idea. Okay, now I got it. This is the perfect pump. This is how I like my hair to look. Exactly like this. Okay, and then I comb it up to make it nice and smooth. I'm not dragging the comb through my hair. I'm just lightly combing it so that it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go in with my hairspray. It doesn't take a lot of hairspray for this. For this hairstyle. But I noticed I need to use hairspray with this palm pomade because I live in windy Chicago. And if I don't put hairspray over the pomade, my hair is going to be flat. Since my hair is thin, it'll automatically go flat. I'm just checking my hair if there's any splits in it, because there's a couple of splits in it. I know you can't see it because my hair is so dark, but I'm going to fix that. So I'm just lightly combing over my pump, make sure there's no splits in it. Make it nice and smooth looking and see if you can try and see the smoothness that I'm trying to get here. Okay, and then there's my hair, all styled for the day. I could leave it like this if I want to, very 1940s hairstyle. And since my hair is wavy in the back, and if I don't do something up with it, it'll get all bushy. So 
So what I do is I take Not Your Mother's Beach Babe and I actually lightly spray that over the back of my hair so that my waves are not puffy. So much easier. It only happens when I wash my hair and sometimes throughout the week I'll notice that it happen too. So I'll just put in some Beach Babe and only wash my hair every after every three days. And yeah, so this is the hairstyle. And then lately I've been wearing my hair in a ponytail. So I'm just gonna do a quick ponytail in the back. Nothing fancy. Regular old ponytail. Just combing it, make, making sure I don't comb this right here. Because then it'll pull that out. Just comb my hair. Just feeling in the back. Seeing how things are. Pull that up. And then I'm going to take a ponytail holder and my hair color and put that on. And there, and then I have this piece right here that sticks out like a tail. Sorry, grabbing another bobby pin. Mm -hmm. So this little tail here, what I do is I just take a bobby pin and I just put it right, right there, flat on my head, teeth side down, flat side up, and then there you go. It's all fixed. And if I want, I could put a hair flower here, I could put a hat over this, and it'll stay. That's pretty much my hairstyle. Quick and easy to do. Oh, my shirt. I like, I'm in love with this shirt. The doctor. Yeah. My Elvis doctor shirt. I wore it to the doctor's office and my doctor, she was happy. She loved it. It was hilarious. So yeah, and I am an Elvis fan. Okay guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.